five minutes. Well, my name is Francis Sawusu, and I'm the founder and uh, of Culture Break and CEO. Uh, and also, I'm um, pleased to say I've now developed a Australia's first online dance teaching resource for for, for primary school teachers, uh, which are, which is a dream. Which is what I want to talk about today. Uh, I believe that see, if you're gonna do anything in life, or do anything in any field, you're gonna need to have three key ingredients, which I call the art of making it. So I'm going to give you a quick three ingredients, because everything I like to do is all about empowerment. I feel that's why one of my key uh, purposes. So three key observations. Number one, have a dream. A dream is a picture, idea, an vision, a desire to do something they have not yet created or done before. It's usually something that's bigger than yourself. I believe a dream should be something that you can can see, but for a moment in time, it might be out of reach, but if you keep on striving and believing for it, one day that dream will be in your hand. My dream came in my hand while I was eating a, a, a Big Mac at McDonald's. <laughs> Literally. And, uh, and I was sitting in Sydney about to go and see a Beyonce concert. This is very sort of uh, inspirational. And uh, I said, I want to do something that was bigger than myself, better than myself. And I had no idea that I was going to start an organization called Culture Break. Which leads me to my second point. Second ingredient needs belief. You've got to believe that you are somebody. You know, the people who think that they're nobodies usually don't achieve any great things. I know it sounds kind of noble to say, I'm just a nobody. But it's not consistent with those who make it. I just watched uh, Nick Curios this morning, you know, with uh, Winnie. You know, he didn't say, you know, I'm just a poor boy from Canberra, you know. I don't think I can beat my father. He had this belief that if I play my best game, if I believe in myself, I can beat even the world number one. And he did. See, essential to us, our belief system, is that we've got to believe that we are somebody. It's the reason why people love the idea of fame. It's kind of that quick way to become somebody. And young people, that's why if you've got talent, you go on uh, The Voice or X Factor. If you've got none, well, I guess it's Big Brother. And, <laughs> you know, and the whole central message is uh, to what I believe, believe in yourself, is that you don't become somebody, you are somebody. And that's what I built my organization, Culture Break, on. And the third thing is, have grit. I realized after doing Culture Break for 12 years, it's taking grit, determination, that belief in yourself, sticking at it when chips are down. In 2008, I thought the thing was over, and I just said, no, I'm going to keep going. That determination. So I want to conclude by saying to you, you need to have a dream. You know, Martin Luther King, King had a dream. Joseph dreamt. Susan Boyle dreamed a dream. <laughs> so you gotta have a dream. And just to finish the words of a famous person that said this, I love the words, famous person, no longer with us. He said, you might say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And I hope one day you'll join us and the world will be as one. So you never dream. Believe. That's sort of saying that I am somebody. And, and it's a difference between saying that I am somebody, there's a difference, because in Australian culture we kind of have this thing that, this whole poppy syndrome that we want to think that you're up yourself. So, but there's a difference between being confident, arrogant. Confidence says I'm good enough. Arrogance says, well, that makes me better than. And I think having confidence and belief in yourself that you're good enough, that you can, that you are somebody, and then having that grip allows you the key ingredients to believe in making it. When I started Colts Break 12 years ago with a, with a break dance and that, with seven kids down in the back end of Langan, I had no idea I'd go from seven students to uh, impacting 400,000 kids around the world. I had no idea that we would see us take kids which were, had, hope, had no hope, no idea they could achieve something to be traveling around the world and doing great things. I had no idea people like Tim O'Matic would come out of Culture Break and become a star zone. I had no idea that would go from the, uh, where I used to literally beg people to come to where to now people come and join our programs. We've gone from seven people in the ACT, involved to over 600 kids a week in our programs, and now we're the largest dance provider in the ACT. All starts with those three ingredients. So I hope that inspires you, I hope that empowers you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night.